Welcome to another fun episode of Tales from the Podcast. I'm your host, JB. Um, I guess before I go ahead and get started, I definitely want to encourage everybody, check out our limited time shop where we are uh, doing a little tiny bit of merch sales for a upcoming project that we have going on um, titled Tales of Shock and Terror, which will be an anthology horror comic book with a lot of more previews to come and... Uh, that should be launching mid month next month, and uh, you know once the comic book comes out, the the merch shops is going to be gone. But you know I went ahead, I shared that everywhere. So everyone, if you got time, please check it out. Do what you can with that, and uh, there's some pretty cool shit there. You might like it. But anyways, I just going to hurry up and just jump right into this one. I thought this was a pretty fun one, but uh, I want to introduce the guest for this week. Um, um, hey, Rob, thanks for joining in, man. I appreciate it. Uh, and this week, we got my friend Justin joining. Hey, Justin, how's it going, buddy? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well, man. I'm uh, I'm pretty excited to talk about this one. But mm-hmm. before we get to that, man, what's going on with you? Why don't you tell everybody a little bit about uh, what you've been up to over at Drunk Conspiracies? You know, just... Uh... A lot of drinking, talking conspiracy <laughs> theories, um, the usual. Uh, got some good episodes coming up. I got one with you coming up, Hollow Earth, so that should be a good one. And I believe that's actually going to be my first live Ooh, video. That's so, going to be a fun one. Yeah, I've never done a live one on my show, so I'm kind of uh, nervous but excited at the same time to throw out a live episode. Right, it, it it can definitely be exciting. That's for sure. I think you're gonna end up doing well with it, though, man. You're gonna you're gonna fall in love with it. I'm sure. Yeah, I'll probably end up probably from there on out doing lives. It that's basically what happened with me. You know, yeah. It, it makes it a lot easier to, um, I guess, uh, to keep track of everything as well because we're doing it live, especially the way that we do it. It's pretty cut and dry, and afterwards, it's uh, it's pretty simple to be able to get back to everything. Yeah, that's for, for sure. sure. Yeah. So, anyways, man, I use this like I said, uh, we got that episode coming up. But I mean, like you, you've been pumping out quite a few episodes since I first had you on here, man. I'm yeah, uh, trying. <laughs> you know, I think you were fairly new to the game when uh, the first time I had you on, and may I say, I, I, I'm impressed. You've you've outlasted many others. Yeah, uh, I'm surprised and. Uh... Like I mentioned, like sometimes it's hard to find guests, but like I just jump in like some uh, Facebook groups for like looking for guests. And once I put a thing out there, I usually get a couple good hits. So um, right. I think you were my like my fifth episode or something like that. So, yeah, I was I was pretty new. Yeah, as I say, it was uh, fairly new into it and everything. Yeah. But... Like I said, you've been doing it quite a while now. I know you've uh, you've definitely getting a lot of listeners, so that's a good thing, man. It's a good sign. Yeah, the numbers have gone up pretty pretty decent, so I can't that's, complain. That's know? good, man. I, I'm very happy for you, and uh, I appreciate it. Ron says, "Wait, you don't like cutting out all the uhs and hums?" <laughs> um, no, I don't cut any of them out. So if you do it, um, there might be a. Uh, mm, some issues. No. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, um, I guess we should probably just go ahead and jump into this one. Um, 
uh first off man thank you for doing this episode i uh yeah. no I problem liked i was I, liked it, I was waiting but, to come uh, back on oh well <laughs> Ho hopefully the next time after this i'll be into the cartoon because i got a feeling it's gonna get real interesting then yeah but, the uh, cartoons uh the cartoon was good this one's a little more uh the show is a little more darker oh uh, yeah but like i mean because yeah, the show was on what abc uh the cartoon yeah, yeah well it was an, it's like an abc special Crown, you, yeah 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 so i mean you can yeah. only do so much true <laughs> true um well this episode is based off of the comic book tales from the crypt issue number 40 this episode came out october 6th of 1993 um i was five i was three <laughs> So. And uh man, I mean we we right off the get go we have a pretty fucking decent cast. We got Ernie Hudson, Joan Chen, John Laughlin, Phil Fondacaro, um Ke the the Howell twins, I'll just leave it at that. Mm -hmm. Doug Jones even though. I mean like I mean you got some pretty iconic people. And right. I you know like right from the get go you like I'm personally already excited. But you know th that that's me, you know um I'm sure you definitely noticed a lot of these people, though. That's for sure. Yeah, for sure. It's a good, right. it's a good cast. Oh, d yeah, definitely. I, I was very, very pleased with that alone. And this one was uh, directed by Rodman Flunder and written by Larry Wilson, which, um, you know, still not horrible there. Um, Rodman, he, he did a lot of stuff with, like, uh, The Office and shit like that. Um, done a lot of just basic like TV type stuff. Never really did like too many like huge pictures. His biggest picture was probably uh, Leprechaun Two, which okay. is still good, yeah. I, you know. But you know, no, like I said, nothing like huge. And then uh, L Larry Wilson. I mean, you're talking about one of the the coolest fucking writers ever. Like the dude did Beetlejuice. Yeah, you know what I mean. I mean? Like it's pretty iconic. Uh, yeah, yeah you know? definitely you know I, and i think he started out on um hitchcock presents which is you know another really cool fucking thing that's for sure but um i guess with with this episode it's uh it's, it's a pretty fun one we get um the zambini and connie are like our main characters there mm -hmm. and they're kind of like um doing this whole thing where you know he's hungry for her thoughts and stuff and you know she's a fortune teller type thing and they're they're pretty much basically trying to get to the point of like, well, he is basically trying to get them to the point of being able to like read minds back and forth and stuff, and a lot, a lot of like telekinetic type shit there, mm -hmm. which um, and uh, as Rob says, I love all the sideshow tales from the crypt episodes. <laughs> Me too. My uh, my personal favorite being from season two, uh, Lower Birth, which has a lot of that, which is a a really fucking fun one but um with, with this episode it's it's like it's it's pretty basic you know it's it's one of our love stories gone wrong type thing so yeah. connie ends up falling for um i believe it's johnny johnny yep. yeah and zambini ends up finding out about it ends up basically losing his ship dousing him in gasoline burning him alive Connie ends up taking off. And in, in between there, we do have a little bit of humor. We got uh, Emmett, played by uh, Phil Fondacaro. And, uh, you know, like, peeking in on the conjoined twins naked in the shower, which um, we got to see a little bit more of that, uh, which is interesting, to say the least. <laughs> yeah. I was, um, kind of wasn't expecting it, you know? No, no. It, it, it's like uh, that episode with Tim Stacks when he's connected with to his brother, and except this is just on a whole different level, that's for sure. Uh, special right. effects are fucking great in this episode, by the way. They are, but, yeah. Um, it was a good episode. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, and um, I guess uh, basically after dousing him in gas, he ends up burning him alive. So Connie ends up taking off, you know, telling everybody that the Zambini killed her, and or killed him, I should say. But after coming, like. Uh, not really coming back but you know he starts getting really drunk and starts like doing his whole like mind thing to try to get her to come back and when this happens um we don't know exactly what's going on we see something like in like the um 
what what would you call that? I don't I don't even know exactly what it's even called. But there's like the uh um man, I'm trying to think of what it is. It's like a not, not a moonroof or whatever cuz that's in a car, oh, but like, um, in their trailer like uh skylight. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. It's a skylight. I couldn't think of it either. <laughs> 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 it's not it's something i really don't have to deal with very often right but yeah you know the, the the skylight and everything and um we end up seeing like a shadow move across it and everything and then something busts through and we notice it is the gorilla who has escaped from its cage mm-hmm. and we get like this uh really odd kind of chopped up scene where we see the gorilla end up going for a butcher knife and then going for him and it kind of like freezes for a second and then it jumps to the gorilla back in a cage with the zambini's head just sitting there as she's going through and uh, uh basically just eating the brains having a little <laughs> snack of the her hump <laughs> yes it it's it's great it, it it's it, i i i guess we'll get into this when we get to the final thoughts but you know, our, our episode basically ends there as far as like the actual episode of it. Mm-hmm. Now, um, you know, as always, I have to go through and if I'm going to read you know, actually go and watch this and everything, I need to read it, too, and give everybody like my comparison. Um, so with this one, I was like I said, based off the Tales from the Crypt issue 40. And um, there's really not too many huge differences in this. You know, you get your basic differences of like um, name changes, ethnic changes, but the actual concepts about the same, the setting's still the same. Um, instead of the Zambini burning Johnny, which of course there's different names there, um, he ends up waking him up at gunpoint and makes him go into a lion's cage where he gets torn to shreds. So it's, oh, wow. it's a yeah yeah it's a a different kind of gruesome that's for sure, and then mm-hmm. the end of it is entirely different there too. So instead of having like the whole gorilla thing, which personally I thought was kind of fun, we uh, the next day he ends up having a, a huge pole fall on him, and mm-hmm. he's paralyzed but looks dead, and you know the connie character and it can actually read the minds and everything so she knows he's still alive and just lets everyone think he's dead and then when they go to like take the body and stuff she goes and makes sure that they know he doesn't want to be embalmed so you know to basically just bury him alive that way and just let him kind of rot which is pretty fucking insane when you think about it but i mean it's you know it's still pretty cool (coughs) excuse me um and, and then it gets a little bit weird because in the comic book, and like, no joke, this is the second to the last panel, you know, he, he's being dug up and then his flesh gets eaten by a ghoul. Hmm. Like out of nowhere. So it gets... Yeah, that's totally different than the, the ending of the show. Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> uh, uh, who knows how expensive that would have been. Right, you know, it was still a fun one though, and I, I personally enjoyed it quite a bit though. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I like I said, um, <laughs> anyways, I guess let's go ahead and take it straight to what we thought about the episode, man. So, uh, um, I guess I'll go ahead and lead it off with this, but you know, w- with our normal scale of going through like a one through ten, I definitely give this one like a solid like 6.57 in there. It's a solid Tales from the Crypt episode. It has all of the gore that you would want, all of the um, the tension, the terror of like a Tales from the Crypt episode. It's um, a, like I said, just it, it's a cut and dry good Tales episode for what it is. You know, um, the the effects in it are awesome. Um, slight little problems with little things though. Like I don't know if you noticed it, but it almost looked like the. Um, well, first off, you can tell the gorilla is not a real gorilla. Right. Yeah. And you can really tell if you pay a lot of attention to the hand as it's going in to eat the brains. And it's like, ha, huh, that's basically a human hand going in there to eat the <laughs> brains. It's it's not the greatest effect there, but you can understand why. Um, right. I mean, budgets for it, you know. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Um, The cast is great. Right. 
that's you know, that's what sells it a lot too is the cast oh yeah i mean they, they just like everything about this is just like the the like the cast especially is just just on point for this episode you got everything that you would need for a circus sideshow you get to see the guy with the little deformed arm you can see mm-hmm. the bearded lady you can see the little woman the little guy uh, i'm pretty sure those are the appropriate terms these days for them and i mean it's just it's it's just an all around fun episode and then even comparing it back to the comic book and being how closely related it is you know it's still not bad it's still a good time right and you know i personally had a lot of fun with it um let's see <laughs> david's chiming in one of the early Hunted filmers uh, films I remember seeing is Miss Congeniality. <laughs> I I would have went with a different one personally, like maybe Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters, yeah. <laughs> but you know, we all we all lived in a different era. That's for sure. Not a bad and, movie though. Right, right. I mean, a lot of Twin Peaks Illuminati throughout mm-hmm. the series, which I love. Yes, Rob. Um, actually, uh, Justin and I were discussing that before we actually came on here. <laughs> Yeah, because I was sitting there pointing out some of it to him too, and Ron says, "Wait, Ernie Hudson was in Ghostbusters." Well, he he just a slight cameo. You might have yeah. missed him if you yeah, blink. Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> you really be paying attention. Right, definitely. <laughs> so, uh, Justin, man, what about you? What did you think about this? And if you can give it a rating between one and ten, where would you put this episode? Honestly, I'd probably give it like a seven or an eight. Um, like, obviously, Ernie Hudson's a great actor, but like, for like a twenty-something minute episode, like, I thought his acting was like really good in it. Like, yeah, compared for just like a sh- like not a feature film, just like a short little episode of Tales from the Crypt. I thought I thought Ernie was a uh, pretty pretty well well good in that episode um a lot of st- it, but yeah I'd, I'd give it a seven or eight um some things i found like funny in it is like when connie and johnny get together like zambini's a mind reader like yeah. what was she thinking like like he w- wasn't gonna find out well <laughs> you know it, it's always like that especially in the tales <laughs> from the crypt episode right <laughs> so- <laughs> But no, I I fully understand what you're saying there. That, that's yeah, and the sure. um, and how like like he was a drunk and like he was abusive like mentally and physically to her, and then uh, that scene where uh, she's coming out back home from Johnny's and she was like uh, I went out because you were snoring like a fat stinking pig I believe she called him, and then he was just like all oh, the abuse you give me, like. Just like the Whoa. the irony in that, like right, especially after that first scene with them and him pretty yeah. much just it's um it opens out, it opens yeah. up and it's it like like goes straight for it, you know. It, yeah, it definitely has a very uncomfortable vibe to the beginning of it. That's for sure. Right, and uh, I I did like the scene of the the gorilla eating the Zambini's head. <laughs> right, I, I mean. That that was a pretty pretty good ending, and I kind of like it better than the comic book ending. Yeah, the comic book ones is a little odd. Yeah, that's yeah. for sure. I do like the fact in the comic though that like he got buried alive. Yeah, and just to rot. That's I do like that ending. Um, the way he was paralyzed and stuff like that. Uh, I feel like the the ending in the show was better than that so so but That's very good episode fair. great acting and i really enjoyed this episode right dave says hey guys just wanted to pop in real fast and uh, i'm not sure exactly what you, one of us said but he says that's what she said <laughs> <laughs> hey dave hope you're doing well man but um i basically agree with everything you said there i think one of the things that makes the comic book a little bit different and darker is just like the 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 i guess the uh um the detail in it the whole like do not embalm him he wants to be buried alive like she didn't want him to be killed off quickly through the 
uh, I guess even embalming somebody like, as they die is and doing it alive is still horrible, but like you'll you'll die a lot quicker than being buried alive and just sitting there with like your own thoughts in a casket. Right. Like, you know, like it's, it's just insane the way that they were thinking about that. And then, you know, you keep in mind that's in the 50s. Like, right. that's fucking like, you know, back then that's like, that's about as horrible as you got. You know, I guess there's a reason some of these books are banned. You know, right. they, not really banned, but, you know, the comic go game after them really fucking hard. And, mm-hmm. you know, it's just, it's insane. I, I loved it though, personally. I, I like I said, I, I had a lot of fun with it. Um, you know, from the sounds of it, I'm happy you did too. Yeah. Um, I'll I, definitely I think, have to go back and read the comic though. Oh, yeah. Um, if you don't have it, I can send you pictures. All right. Yeah. I, I yeah, got almost all of them up there. So <laughs> nice. Yeah. I, uh, I, I had some long debating the other day, dude, and I've decided not to. Um, Obviously, you know personally that I I don't drink. I have issues, right? But I do have this very fancy pale from the crypt beer that I have been wanting to try. I, I just saw uh, that. Yeah, I was I was looking at that earlier. <laughs> it was like, man, that would be the perfect opportunity to, to crack one open. Right. So then I'm sitting there thinking to myself. I paid a lot to get that shit from California. <laughs> I, <laughs> I was gonna ask where you got it from, but uh, yeah, they only sell it in California. <laughs> nah, fi- that figures. And the yeah, yeah, you, they don't ship it to cap from there from there either. Um, you basically gotta find somebody there to ship it to you. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, and even Damn. then, I think there might be some um, there might be some issues legally there, but I don't know about. Yeah yeah you know shipping alcohol but i mean to me it's more of a novelty anyway you know right you know um i I will say that this episode um it only got a 6.1 out of 10 on imbd really yeah which is quite a bit lower than (laughs) i would have been lower than i would have thought (laughs) i would have thought it could done better buddy john there sounds like justin is just broke (laughs) What are you? Because I won't drink that beer. <laughs> they they don't even have another one like that out now. So like, even if you bought another one, I think it's like series three now. And you know what, John? I I tell you what, I will crack one open if you come over and have one with me, buddy. He so... goes. <laughs> Laugh my ass off. Justin is a man of quality. Now I'm not sure if he's talking about me or you. I'm not sure. It's hard you know, to tell. I, I, you know, I, I wasn't even thinking about that, but <laughs> this right. is definitely a show of two Justins today. <laughs> cheers to that. I'm assuming about coming over and having a beer. <laughs> right. It might be the only time you get one, too. <laughs> <laughs> Call me broke, asshole. No. <laughs> um. JP Justin Bustle, yes, yes, I, I figured that much. <laughs> uh, I, I will say though, for everybody, you know, go check out John and what he's doing on CryptTube over on YouTube. Um, dude's putting out some pretty fucking awesome content. A lot of uh, restoration of a lot of the old tales from the Crypt episode. Some 4K releases, even uh, dabbled a little bit with the cartoon a little bit too i'm uh i mean the, the dude's work is just flat out fucking amazing um not to mention he has something i'm super fucking jealous of he has a custom chucky doll that is super fucking cool <laughs> like nice. they went all out on the fucking detail for it but um this saturday me and uh, a friend of mine drew moreland who is the artist that is doing a lot of the stuff with the comic book? We're going to be making an appearance on his show. Right. <laughs> he says, "Nah, stop! Don't fuck me into things he's talking about you guys." <laughs> but I will say, check us out tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no more talking about John. All right, um, he, he is a good guy though. But uh, you know, so Justin, if you are a Tales from the Crypt fan. Check out some of the stuff he has going on. I mean, you'll learn something. That's for damn sure. All right. Yeah, I'll definitely have to check it out on YouTube. You said? Oh, yeah. 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 Right. yeah good guy, too. Fun. Um, All right. 
I'm still jealous of that fucking Chucky doll. <laughs> Definitely a good one, man. Uh, I am kind of surprised though that this did get a six point one. Me personally, I, yeah, I really I thought, it, I thought it would better. do better than that. Oh yeah, definitely, man. You know, it's I, I get it. It's not you know fucking you know, television gold by any means, but if you know when you're watching something like this, you can't compare it to other things that you know aren't tales from the crypt. Right. You know, it's, it's hard to put it in any other kind of scale, but yeah, you know what? Whatever people choose to put things the way they do, I guess for a reason. Yeah. Um, I you know uh, I think overall though, like we we both definitely really enjoyed this one. It was a mm -hmm. it was a fun episode, that's for sure. It was so, very, uh, very entertaining. Oh, dude, definitely. Yeah. I mean, so I, I will say that I'm definitely super excited to be a talking about some uh conspiracies with you man i'm excited as well it should be a good episode i've been waiting to do this topic for a while i'm surprised nobody did it to be honest i with know you. and uh i guess to reiterate on that um and by the way uh chuck's uh he logs onto the facebook page and doesn't switch himself over uh so he's <laughs> commenting as the page that's live right now he says hey dudes <laughs> hey chuck what's up chuck <laughs> so you'll be meeting chuck soon he goes this is Chuck. Oh man, I um, I can't really give you technical help while I'm live, but anyways, <laughs> you'll be meeting him soon too because he'll be on the episode with us as we discuss yes. the hollowed earth. Yeah, which is, oh man, it's, it's uh, Ron says you gotta figure that out on your own, bud. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? I I will say I'm. I'm I'm really excited to do this one with you. I I have no idea how it was never picked. Uh, I've had one per one other person mention it, and uh, I think ultimately we went with a different topic. I think they uh, they changed their mind and wanted to go with something else, but I'm it was brought up at one point. To go with right, like, um, like what what topic does somebody think of? It was like you know what this is probably better than the hollowed earth. Right, I you know. It, to be honest, I couldn't even tell you which one we ended up going with, but uh, it w it was brought up at one point, but we huh. ended up uh, they ended up switching it. Interesting. Because I I let my guests pick the topic. Oh yeah, I'm I'm, so, I'm aware. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. Well, you know, what what can you do? Like I said, though, right. I, I'm definitely really fucking excited to talk about it with you, man. I think it's going to be a very fun time. It should um, be a good episode. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know we, uh, I believe we are doing that. You said this would be your first live one. Yep. So for people that are watching it and everything, I know that would be February 17th at 7 p.m. Eastern. Can you tell everybody where they'll be able to watch it? Um, I believe I'll be streaming it on, because um, I don't have a YouTube channel yet for my podcast. Um, I've been thinking about getting one, and now that now that I'm thinking about going into live, um i may start a youtube channel for it but i thought about just streaming it to uh facebook right for um, my uh for my pod my podcast page all right and uh the, i'm assuming they can find that at facebook.com slash drunk conspiracies uh yeah drunk conspiracies podcast group is drunk the uh, the name of the group. group oh oh yeah, all right um i will give you a little bit of advice just from mm -hmm. somebody who's done it before do it off of a page and share I, to a group. Okay. I do have a page for it. Yeah. Um, I do more do in the group, group than I do on the page. Pop but... up on the comments. Yeah. So it okay. gets irritating. So you definitely want to do it off the page. <laughs> and okay, I, did that. That I did that at first too. And I was like, you know what? This is not a good idea. I need to figure out how to get away from that. And you have to do it from a page and then share it to the group. Okay. Um, you know, I will say as somebody who uses the same kind of software and everything, though, mm -hmm. I strongly suggest taking 10 minutes of your day, making that YouTube channel, making that Twitch, because you're allowed so many share or so many ways to go and share it out. I would definitely, you know, put it out on every platform you can. All right. Yeah, I'm I plan on looking uh, more into it beforehand. Rob says, thanks. I'll definitely check it out, Justin. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm not cool. sure what Justin he's talking to. 
Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> we, we'll both we'll be there, though. We'll, we'll, we have the most confusing episode this week with two Justins, so if anybody tries to talk to us, we have no idea who you're talking to. <laughs> it's horrible. Right. <laughs> There's Chuck. How's this? So... <laughs> And then he says, both Justin's. <laughs> well, we appreciate that. Yep. Both of us do. <laughs> yeah. And Chuck, that's good, man. I'm sorry you had to go to YouTube to figure it out, but, you know, it's still fun. Um, <laughs> anyways, man, uh, like I said, dude, uh, you know, th- thank you. It's it's always fun to have somebody on here talk about Tales from the Crypt. And, right. uh, you know, um, <laughs> even though you've been on here before and everything, man, it's it, it's always a delight. That's for sure. I always have fun talking to you and everything too man it's good times and I, i'm excited for uh like i said that hollow earth is gonna be a fucking blast dude and uh yeah, man. you're gonna see how chuck can be because it's drunk conspiracies chuck this is your time finally where i'm not gonna be like all right chuck don't drink too much please i'm gonna be like all right man have yourself two bottles let's see how this goes so it's halfway through this encouraged. episode chuck's probably gonna say things that he doesn't mean <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> who knows how that's gonna go but uh um, we'll know. find out oh yeah we definitely will so check out justin over at drunk conspiracy check out his group check out his page like him please uh he'll he definitely appreciate that and you, you, your yeah. podcast is basically on all platforms i know you got stitcher fixed finally yeah uh, i'm yeah, assuming you're everywhere else. Out. yeah that's but, awesome yeah apple spotify iheart uh google amazon stitcher uh, nice. pretty much everywhere that's good and it's just drunk conspiracy is pretty fucking simple everyone can find it i hope you check them out um dude thank you so much for coming on man it's always a fucking blast yeah thanks um, for having me uh like i said I, i've been wanting to come back on so uh glad i finally got the opportunity and uh i can't wait to have you on my show again it should be oh. definitely be a fun episode oh that's for sure and chuck that's chuck nasty in full effect <laughs> That dude's going to be trashed. <laughs> we did an episode with Patricia Tallman. He was pretty drunk and he was chain smoking. She's like, you know, you just keep lighting up cigarette after cigarette. Like Patricia <laughs> Tallman played Barbara the Night of the Living Dead remake. And she's sitting there giving Chuck life advice on his fucking habits. <laughs> so hey, now with them being encouraged to drink, let's see how this goes. <laughs> Probably probably a lot of editing having to be done. Not if it's live. <laughs> uh, true. <It> true. <laughs> it's going to be interesting. I'm very excited. That's for sure. I, I am um, too. It should be good fun. Oh, dude, definitely. Yeah. But uh, before we go, I definitely want to let everybody know what's going on next week on the show. So next week we're doing something that some people might not be happy with. I will say that right away. Um. <clears throat> Ron probably will hate this movie. Um, and <laughs> we, we got uh, um, our buddy Jeff coming on, and we're going to be talking about the Saska Twins remake of Rabbit. And uh, Jeff is from the Skewered Universe podcast. He's a pretty good guy as well. Um, that's going to be a very interesting... Uh, you know, sheesh. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be a very interesting episode there too uh talking about some good old body horror um especially done by the saska twins of a cronenberg remake which let's see how we like it you have to tune in next week and see what we thought but dude like i said thank you so much uh do you have anything that you want to share or add before we go ahead and get out of here tonight uh no just uh if you get the chance check out the podcast uh drug conspiracies i'm on basically all platforms uh join my facebook group drunk conspiracy podcast group i'm also on instagram drunk conspiracy podcast and i'm also on tiktok now at drunk conspiracies podcast as well that's awesome man i mean like, yeah. the the tiktok platform is one that we um just personally just got on and just so everybody does know um there is uh links to his group chat just sitting there right now so everyone can go ahead check out his group um, I've shared that everywhere on Twitch, YouTube, as well as Facebook. And if you're checking this out on the podcast, go ahead, scroll down on the little thing, and you'll find the show notes. And guess what? It's there too, motherfuckers. So check him out. Join the groups. Enjoy what he's doing. He's a good guy. Um, dude, like I, I said, thank it. you, man. It's always a fun time. 
Uh, I'll definitely have to get you on the other show and get you to watch something really uncomfortable. Like I was gonna say, I'd love to come on the the other show too. I'm oh, a big horror fan, you know that. So. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah. Uh, I, I I I will do what I can to ruin your day. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> Be like, all right. Have you ever seen Human Centipede Two? <laughs> it's, right. It's pretty gross. It's but, pretty gruesome. Yeah. Yeah, it, well, see, you have seen it. Have you ever yeah. seen Aftermath? I'm gonna I take you to a really dark spot. Yeah, that okay. one will ruin your life. People think oh. Serbian films bad until they see something like Aftermath. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to check it out then. I don't know. Drums. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you guys. Take care. Safe travels. You too, man. Hopefully, you, you tune Rob. in next week. All right. Well, I guess, uh, dude, like I said, thank you so much. Uh, yeah, thanks for having me. Dude, anytime, man. Yep. And uh, that's basically it, guys. So I hope you all have a great night. Tune in next week. See what we're doing with Rabbit. And uh, with that being said, the crypt is closed. <laughs>